Hi guys, so we're back at home from my parents. Um, we are hardly here, so we still have Christmas decorations up, yes, in February. Isaac is screaming, screaming, screaming. Yeah. So we hardly have any food in our fridge here, so um, I just ordered some pizza. Uh, Matt is um, on his way. Yeah, if you just look in our fridge, there's like nothing in our fridge. So today we actually have this kind of um, it's kind of like this class at, um, at the church that Isaac's being baptized in. This class um, is for actually uh, for the godparents. So we're having two godparents, my sister and Matt's cousin. Just like a little class. I don't know. I really don't know what to expect. So it's probably just going to be like an hour or something. So um, we're going there later today. Um, it's 5.30 um, and it's at 7 o'clock. Yeah, so we're just uh, preparing right now. And um, I'm not sure what time Matt is coming. Um, he's picking up his cousin. So... Hi. Pizza's here! Yay! Yes! There's like a deal and it's only like, there's only like 10 bucks or something like that. So I just called Matt. They're 20 minutes away. He's with his cousin. He picked up his cousin. But... I'm gonna have one of these. So I can give some to Isaac too. <laughs> Yummy! I'm giving him like the insides of... The breadstick. More? So, right now, um, it's like 10.45 at night. Um, we have like a whole bunch of our like stuff because we're moving back home now. Um, we're just trying to organize everything. I'm just kind of doing a load of the laundry right now. We're gonna actually move um, Isaac's crib into our room and so he can sleep beside us here because he can't use that bassinet anymore. He like usually sleeps in between us and um, we'd rather have him now that he moves so much like we're gonna just have him in a crib right beside us so right now our plan is to kind of just like clean everything up put everything away all of our clothes and whatever and then um, we can start like setting up for him um, even like making a play place for him and stuff since he's crawling now. Good morning, everyone. We love the weekend. Isaac literally just, like we put him in the crib that we just put last night beside our bed. And um, he just pulled himself up. Like, I don't know how he did that. Matt was like, oh my gosh, he pulled himself up. I'm like, what? Isaac, you're too strong now. Oh my gosh. And we just lowered this last night. Say hi, Isaac. 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 Oi. Isaac somehow learned how to sit up on his own. I was just literally talking to Matt about this yesterday. I was saying, oh, how come Isaac doesn't know how to sit on his own yet? All of a sudden, like, we turn around and he's sitting here. We're like, what the? We didn't even see how it happened. Okay. Uh, oh, he's going to sit. He's going to sit. So that's how he does it. Good job, Isaac. Good job. We were watching this whole time. We didn't even know. Yeah. Hey. hey. Good job. Hey. Look at your daddy. Oh, you're me? Like, oh, wait, that's kind of too far for me. You cut it on tape. Oh, that's a real one. Now you know how to do it. Hi guys, so um, we're just getting ready to leave. We're gonna run some errands today. Matt needs an oil change, a long overdue oil change. And we need to go grocery shopping. One of our last videos we talked about um, we went to uh, the recreational center to put a request form for the date for Isaac's birthday. 
And um, we just got a call back a couple days later, actually, yeah. from that day when we went. And they said that we can have the Sunday. So it's going to be Sunday, July 9th. And it's going to go from 1 to 5 p.m. So, which is exciting. It's the day before his birthday. Right now, I'm just uh, cleaning out Isaac's helmet so that by the time we come back from running the errands, we'll probably be out for like, maybe like two and a half, three hours. So, um, by then it'll be nice and dry and we can just put it back on. enjoy running errands like it just feels so good to run errands like you're just getting things out of the way and um, you feel accomplished me and Matt like now we, we we never go on dates anymore the dates probably stopped maybe right before I got pregnant I don't want to say dates stopped but um, we definitely don't go out as much I think it's just you know me just trying to save money now because we have Isaac and you know um, I don't know it's just I don't feel the need to go out as much. Last weekend when we were running errands for the first time in a long time, it was actually so fun and I'm actually enjoying this weekend too today. It's very, you know, moving back to our, moving back home um, and, you know, uh, just tackling things like, you know, going for an oil change and just like even putting like the Christmas decorations away and, you know, unpacking all of our things in our house. It's just, it just feels good, you know, and just spending, having that, spending that time doing small simple and basic things like that with Matt it actually it's actually really nice you know it's very it's so simple and so um it's just like everyday life and I guess that's a that's a good sign although like going out on dates is, is nice once in a while sure but I don't know I just feel like I guess I just feel lucky that we don't have to do stuff like that you know I'm not saying it's a bad thing to go on dates but you know it's saving money too when we're not going on dates right so I actually truly truly enjoy um Going, just going around doing simple things. It's weird, right? When me and Matt were young, we were just like, we always just wanted to go out all the time. And it's just, you know, it's just like we, we wanted to spend as much time together. Um, I don't know, like I, I just feel like we're so lucky to, to, have, uh, to have this kind of marriage. I'm not sure if all marriages are like this, but we're so simple like this. And we don't, we're not always constantly going out and stuff, so. We can go in here and connect to Walmart. Oh. Walmart. Or we can go around, it doesn't matter. Um, you want to go shopping now? Yeah, about I thought... 40, 45 minutes. Oh, so it's quick? Yeah. Come in here. How's it doing? He's sleeping. Oh. <laughs> wow, look at this guy's taking your car already. Dang, so quick. I was just saying, like, um, what do you, what's your opinion about, like, running errands like this? Like, shouldn't we be going on dates and stuff? This is a date. For me it's a date. That's fun. I have fun when I go on. Yeah, that's so. what I was just saying. Like I actually truly enjoy this and it's like am I like weird or something? It's like you're accomplishing things and it's like it's just fun. Like I love doing simple things. I think honestly the only thing I need from like a relationship and a marriage is like I just need to talk. Like that's just how I am. I just need to talk and I don't need to go on a date to talk. We can just literally be at home and just like chat, chat, chat and like I feel I feel fulfilled in my in my in our marriage. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that good at talking though. You're good I'm at good listening. <laughs> No, but you give you give like actual like sound advice. When I'm freaking out about something, you actually listen to me and you actually like think things through with me. Because when I freak out about things, I just need to talk, talk it out. Like yesterday, remember? Yeah. And then after when like Matt like figured everything out for me, I just like he just cradled me in his arms. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt like a baby. I was like, oh, I felt so relieved. I'm like, oh, thank God. That's what uh, husbands are for, I guess. <laughs> To cradle your wife and your baby. <laughs> okay, so what are we buying here? Everything, right? Yeah, but I want to eat. I'm hungry. I'm totally okay, you want to eat here? You want to go to McDonald's first? or something? So you okay with McDonald's? I'm okay with McDonald's. Okay, let's go to McDonald's. That's not, that's not very romantic though. You just gotta feed your wife. You took a spoon. Did you break it more? Yeah, we no. We tried to put this up, and we thought that like we had to put this part into like the window. So I like closed the window, and I like. This thing like broke. Yeah, and now we realize that you're supposed to put the suction cups in here. Oh yeah, see, look, they're like, 
It's not supposed to do that. Change of plans, we're at Hero Burger. Hey guys, we're all back home. Ugh. Um, I just all fed, diaper changed, put his helmet back on right away. I told Matt, I'm like, why don't you? And like Isaac, what the? Look who's standing. Look who's standing. Isaac, are you standing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this boy. He literally just started doing that today and bam, he's doing it 24 seven now. So anyways, Matt right now, um, he just went to the recreational center. We were supposed to go all together, but um, I said, you know what? Isaac is kind of cranky, so. I told him, why don't you just go ahead and do it and we'll go, um, we'll just go back home. I'm just, we're just really tired. We're probably just gonna rest a little bit. This is a very nice, oops. It's a very nice and relaxing weekend and we definitely got a lot of things done. So I'm happy about it. Oh my gosh, guys. So we usually prepare Isaac's food. Like this is a, what is this, butternut squash? Butternut squash in these ice trays. And literally, I was trying to get them out and like it literally snapped in half. Look at this, so dangerous. And we're finding like little small pieces everywhere. And when it snapped, like I felt like a pain. I felt like a pain and legit, look, I'm not even kidding. Do you see that? That literally nicked me. That could have been my eye. And that could have been Isaac. This is so drama, like what the heck is this? Like, holy smokes. I felt a pain after I'm like, let me just look in the mirror. And I saw it, I'm like, what the? So we're currently at um, a restaurant that we're trying to book for Isaac's baptism. They're getting the manager and we're just gonna take a look at um, the rooms that they have available. So we were just told that somebody else booked or something. Um, and they're trying to make us go for the three o'clock slot, which is the dinner time. If we book at 2.30, 2.45, which they told us that we would because we said we called them last week and we told them that we'd come in to do the deposit and they said, oh, no problem. And then they come and they said that it was booked at 2.30 and they won't be done at, at 12.30 and it won't, they won't be done until 3. So they said, you have to book at 3. I'm like, uh, we were told that we would get the lunch, the lunch uh, deal. So it's kind of upsetting. They're going to talk to the manager and see what they can do. We did it, guys. We booked. We'll explain later. We have to fight them. Yeah. We have discovered a treasure. These are for the fruits. However, you know, also Joe introduced here. this to us and... You guys open it already? Oh, yeah, you open it. Good job, Joe. It's amazing. Like, yeah. Why limit it to fruits when we can put it with chocolate chip cookies? Yes. yes. It's so good. We never usually eat with a dip for the with the fruits <laughs> and vegetables or whatever. We never do. We never do and Whoops. we decided to use it for the desserts. How about potato chip with the chocolate? So you got the savory and you got the sweet. I get it. That's why chocolate covered pretzels work. Are we dipping everything now? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, it'll go good with anything. Okay. It kind of reminds me of Dunkaroos. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yes. Definitely. Oh, it's the Dunkaroos. Why are we so excited? <laughs> Dunkaroos is yeah. it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely the dunk. It tastes yes. exactly like it. Right? Oh, yes. Oh it's not a family get together without. Is this going to go on small talk vlog? Yeah. I'm famous. Toy will be so mad if I'm not vlogging. So <laughs> She's not here. Did you take any other footage? Game night. Hardly. Just with the, just the <laughs> Dunkaroo thing. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dari. Yeah. Birthday, Where's Dari? Dari. Dari. Every birthday. <laughs> so concentrated. How did I? Well, I, 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 was, I, was, I was just the kids. I was the kids first. So. Bye, guys. <laughs> bye, JC. Bye, Dari. Thank you, Dari. All right, so it's the end of the night. It is almost 10 o'clock. We just left um, our cousin's house. It's, uh, it was his wife's birthday. Um, so we were just celebrating, um, just, you know, a small get together. The thing about I like um, about our cousins is that like, you know, um, no matter how old we are now, we, you know, we still enjoy each other's companies. The age gap is, you know, there's 
a little bit of an age gap between some of us, right? Like uh, my brother is the oldest, and then like the youngest is Toya. Even with those the huge gap there, like the age gap, and we're all in between. It's nice to know that we can all still hang out and um, actually have fun together, have games, you know, just chat, catch up, and whatever. It's kind of like um, having like a group of friends that we all like just meet up with every, you know, couple times a month type of thing, which is nice. And now that we're everyone's kind of like having kids, like now all of our kids can grow up together, which is nice. So yeah, um, I guess that's the end of this end of this day today. Isaac just is about to fall asleep here beside me, and we're just on our way home now. So, good night.